We are a leading dairy consulting company in Kenya, operating over the last 11 years. We've supported uh, commercial dairy farmers and also smallholder farmers in cooperatives, uh, together with individual dairy investors to set up viable, sustainable dairy operations and enterprises. Last year, we partnered with ILRI in the sapling project and the DFA component, supporting them to implement uh, projects in uh, three counties, Nyandarua, uh, Kakamega and Wasingishu. Um, if the functions that we did included uh, training youth who are qualified in dairy technology to production to be able to become um, better managers in farms. Uh, the DFA component was testing the shared manager model at the farms, aggregating 50 farmers and getting them uh, comprehensive support uh, through the DFA. So the DFA is a dairy farmer assistant. He was equipped with uh, knowledge and uh, practical skills to meet farmers and also support them uh, working with the uh, LV platforms and sharing information and uh, we also attach them to cooperatives. Uh, we had uh, eight cooperatives participating and uh, by the end of the project we supported 16 DFAs to offer services. We train 25 in our Academy of Dairy which is one of the products that we deliver and so far we registered successful results in a number of areas. These were trained comprehensively in um, uh, according to the curriculum that we have in feeding and rations, in assessment of farms, in developing viable plants, in cow feeding and all the other areas of uh, farm operations. We notice that farmers usually go for trainings but when they come back they are not able to implement it because some of them are aged, some of them are not well equipped with their results and um, the work technical component of dairy farming cannot be done by people that are not trained. So this dairy farm assistance I went to the select farms which were randomly selected according to the research criteria and they were able to come sit down with them, assess farms, identify areas where there are gaps and come up with their business improvement plans. Uh, so they were able to do fodder quantification, advise farmers on the best fodder solutions, uh, the foragers to plant and help them plant, uh, they are able to help them with uh, make quality, they also help they able to help them with recording. There was a recording app that they were using, they were able to register performance across the one year of operations. So the farmers engaged with the DFS, they were able to call them whenever there was need. For example, if a calf has been born, they would invite the DFS to come and advise them on how to feed. If uh, a cow was having problems with health, they would ask them uh, what solution they need. If uh, they needed uh, improvements in uh, breed, they would also connect them to AHS providers. So basically, the DFAs were the link between the cooperatives, helping them farmers keep records and also deliver milk to the cooperatives, and also helping the farmers to uh, just undertake comprehensive farm operations. And so what this did was that the farmers had all the round, on the clock support, um, because the DFAs were coming from their areas, they would walk, they would drive, they would ride and, and meet farmers. So from our interaction with farmers and the cooperatives, we have registered a number of um, results which are very positive. One, uh, many cooperatives uh, were able to see improved milk collection uh, based on the fact that uh, the farmers who were aggregated were able to implement the ideas and solutions that the DFS were proposing. Uh, farmers were able to feed their cows very well, able to improve cow comfort, which is a big area for most of the smallholder farms. And they also able to conserve fodder and just be able to feed very well. The other things that farmers were able to diagnose their uh, animals and improve on health practices. And above all, the farmers who were diverting their milk because um, they preferred getting instant payments uh, would now wait for a whole month, accumulate the liters and, and get paid more. Uh, of course, benefiting from the cooperative solutions, including joining a circle and just improving their financial uh, resources. Uh, previously, a farmer would sell their milk to middlemen who would exploit them with low prices and sometimes just when the milk is a lot they are able to leave the milk and not come and collect but for the cooperatives they were well equipped and they were able to receive all the milk so the number of cooperatives uh, have actually improved milk by a hundred percent and that was a very a very big improvement we've also seen um, uh, these DFAs growing in skills and going over and beyond what they, they were doing uh, they've been able to set up uh, business solutions and even as the project comes to an end, a number of them have been absorbed as extension officers in the cooperatives, which is a very 
a very uh, key result for us. We had a number of challenges. One was resources. Uh, the resources were limited and therefore we were not able to comprehensively explain and, and, and meet farmers. We were not able to regularly be on the ground to assess performance and we had to depend on the work of the DFS. We also noted that a number of DFS got better offers and left and we had to replace them, which took a bit of time, delaying results in some areas. Some cooperatives are not well equipped to reach farmers and so when this discussion started, we are uh, to wait a long time to be able to mobilize farmers uh, to be able to reach the sampling frame for them to be sampled and to, to be randomly selected. Also, um, there were challenges of uh, mobility. The cooperatives are places where the road network is not very good. There's also sparse population in some of um, um, the counties, like Nyandarwa, where our DFA was covering a lot of kilometers before they reached the selected farmers. And that, of course, delayed and made this, of course, um, a very heavy uh, season of rain uh, in the latter uh, parts of the project. But overall, uh, I think we're able to overcome the challenges uh, by constantly engaging the DFS, working with the cooperatives, and of course uh, going over and beyond to support them. And um, the, the outcome is that uh, this has been a very successful project.